I'll show you how to make these cool character spotlighting techniques that we often see used in our favorite movies or series. Here are the ones from La Casa de Papel. And here is one you can make in three minutes in CapCut. So I got these little clips here of warriors. Let's go with this one. Step one is to locate where you want to freeze your clip. Generally after a short motion, and you right click and freeze clip. You then remove the background with the auto cut feature to keep only the character. If you need CapCut Pro but don't have it, you can always remove the background on a free website like Adobe Firefly. While holding Alt, you duplicate your freezed frame on top. And you go to the Adjustments tab and then Curves. And you move the white luma like this to make it all white. Place it behind your main character and scale it up just a bit. Then let's bring our background. In this example, a simple church wall. And search for red filters. You can test them out and most of them will give a cool result. Now we make the background shrink, slightly. Place a first keyframe and scale it up a bit. Then place another keyframe, 10 or 20 frames away, and scale it back down. And to complete the colors, we transform our character into black and white. Search for that in the filter bar and apply one you like. Now for the special effects, go to the effects section and choose the decor category. There you'll find plenty of smoke and natural effects. We just apply some snow, smoke, and sunray effect. One last thing is missing, the caption. You could choose to go for text templates, and there are plenty to choose from. But sometimes the simplest is the best. Just add a normal text, type in the title, and choose a bold font. Add a text animation by going to the Animation tab, and choose, for example, Pop-Up. And after testing, you can always adjust everything, including the special effects if you want to turn them down, for example. Just click on each effect and adjust the atmosphere to increase or decrease it. And we got something pretty close to La Casa de Papel. But we can go even further and add some other cool stuff. In my example, I am adding a thunder effect and making sure to trim it correctly so that it doesn't repeat. I can also add this TV effect only and directly on the main character by dragging it inside the clip. I can add this glitch transition just before the freeze. Let's also add a little motion to the background with the rebound swing effect and reduce the speed a little bit. We can add a similar effect, play pendulum, to both the character and his shadow. And make sure to reduce and adjust the same settings to both clips. To finish it off, let's go for this Smoke VFX that we can place on top of everything else. Check out the tutorial on VFX if you didn't yet. You can size it and place it where you want. And I think we have a not-so-bad result. Let me know in the comment section and see you in the next episode. Cheers!